Good morning from CBS News headquarters in New York. This is Up to the Minute. I'm Michelle Gielin. It's a fix that's never been tried a mile underwater, but this morning workers in the Gulf of Mexico are attempting to place a huge steel and cement funnel over the massive British petroleum oil leak. It's a dangerous task, and BP executives caution that it may not work. Drilling experts say that even a small mistake lowering the box could actually make the spill worse. Meanwhile, the first oil has begun washing ashore. CBS's Mark Strassman reports. Landfall. The first wave of oil spilled into Louisiana's Chandelure Islands. Locals call them the Cajun Bahamas. Pristine wetlands poisoned by rusty colored oil. This image drives response efforts here. By seaplane, we went back into the Gulf and saw rolling ribbons of oil, some that looked a mile long, approaching the Chandelures. Despite frantic efforts to stop them. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere. Down below, shrimp boats with absorbent booms looked mismatched against approaching slicks. As the spill floats out here in the Gulf, moving toward land, it changes over time, becomes less toxic and more sticky. Eventually, it becomes like tar and clings to almost anything. That stickiness becomes the big threat to marshland and wildlife. This is a, a very valuable uh, opportunity to see some of the oil. We gave this bottle of spilled crude to Ed Overton, an oil spill expert at LSU. On Tuesday, we scooped the sample from a slick out in the Gulf. Tests in Overton's lab confirmed that two weeks in the Gulf had diluted the oil's toxicity. But he sees the other hazard. As this oil moves closer, it's, it looks to me like it's going to stick to everything. As BP burned off more oil, environmentalists worry about the unseen damage, all the marine life that swims near the surface. And with another 200,000 gallons pouring into the Gulf, it's like battling a new oil spill every day. BP has also fought the leak with more than 160,000 gallons of chemical dispersants. Molecules in the dispersants attach to the oil and break up its density. The oil droplets then sink to the ocean floor. But dispersants include toxic chemicals, so toxic, critics say they do more harm than the oil itself. Just because we don't see dead birds on the beaches doesn't mean that we don't have a serious wildlife problem. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar said that companies involved with last month's oil rig explosion made, quote, very major mistakes. A complete review is underway, and Salazar says the federal government will not be issuing any new offshore drilling permits for at least the next three weeks. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Venice, Louisiana.